In ancient Greece, the atomist Immanuel Kant elaborated on Wright's ideas and referred to these faint nebulae as island universes. Both stars in a range of different directions. He found that the stars were much denser on one side of the sky than those of the other side. Herschel's son, John, conducted a similar study of the sky in the southern hemisphere and found the same pattern. What they actually saw was the core of the Milky Way galaxy, where there is much greater density of stars. Herschel had placed our sun nearly at the center of the Milky Way, and it wouldn't be until the 1920s. Five years after Silver's discovery, Herbert Custis observed a nova, which is the brightening of an exploding star, inside the Andromeda Nebula. Looking back over photographs of the nebula, he was able to document 11 more novae than were on average 10 times fainter than those of the Milky Way. The evidence was orbiting one of the 30 billion stars in our galaxy, which is itself just one of more than 100 billion of galaxies in the observable universe. Even today, it remains difficult to grasp just how tiny and small our planet is in the vastness of the observable universe, let alone the Milky Way. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.